Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dubai Help here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 2 has been out for about two days now. And as per usual, I'd like to come back and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for several days. Now, I also want to talk about some bug fixes within iOS 15.4 as well. So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, for those of you that are in the public beta testing program, iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 2 was available for you as of yesterday, so you can go ahead and update right now if you wish to do so. Now, this software brings a lot of hitting features and source code, starting with the driver's license and IDs feature that Apple is hoping to bring to iOS 15 sooner rather than later. Now, source code found within iOS 15.4 suggests that Apple could be launching this feature finally with iOS 15.4 on a handful of states and I think Florida is one of the states that should be getting this at the initial launch here in the United States. I'm really looking forward to the driver's license and ID features. Again, source code has been found within the operating system which hints at Apple working on this feature being launched with 15.4. Now there's also some changes to the magnifier application on your iPhone. So if you triple click here, if you have this setting set up here, if we go to the camera options, we now have lens options. Here we have three different options for lens. We have auto, we have close up, and then we have front. So three different options under magnifier which are welcome addition to the magnifier app on your iphone now one of the biggest changes that i've noticed with face id or tweaks to face id is that face id now tells you to look down to unlock your iphone if you're wearing a mask and your mask is up high above your nose but covering your eyes almost it would ask you to tilt your head down or look down because sometimes when we wear the mask it will cover portions of our eyes and now face id is capable of unlocking your iphone while you are mask however is using your face right the upper portion of your face where your eyes are so if it can't detect that it would actually tell you to look down a little bit so it can get more data points and unlock while you wear your mask so uh, tweaking here to face id which is a welcome addition as well apple is going big with face id in ios 15.4 which as i mentioned before is shaping up to be one of the biggest software updates to ios 15 and face id in general in a very very long time now as i mentioned ios 15.4 also is working on a few bug fixes now improving siri and dictation right this prompt here is something you get when you go to set up your iphone and you will Will get this when you first install iOS 15.4 initially. Now you opt in or opt out to send your Siri interactions on Apple Watch, on iPhone, and HomePods. You can opt in or opt out to send these voice recordings over to Apple to improve the service. Now there's an issue and a bug within the OS that would still send these uh, audio interactions. Right? So if you opt out or opt in, it didn't matter, it would still send them. So Apple is fixing a bug within the software right now. Once again, this has happened before, where these uh, interactions were being sent to Apple. Apple, and you will be prompted once again when you update to 15.4 to opt in or opt out of the particular feature here, improve Siri and dictation. So again, guys, it's been over 24 hours. There's additional new features that I've come across. As always, I like to share those with you guys. And there you guys have it. Just a really quick video. Thank you for watching this one. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.